All right, let's take a quick look at problem numero tres. It says a chemical reaction produced 98.0 milliliters of sulfur dioxide gas at STP. What was the mass in grams of the gas produced? Okay, so a couple of quick pitfalls that students will very easily fall into. One, they see this 98 milliliters for their volume measurement and they think, oh man, I've got a lot more than one mole here because 98 is a heck of a lot bigger than 22.4. Wrong! Our units here are in milliliters. And so it's really important before you begin to solve the rest of this problem that you convert your units of milliliters to liters. To do that, I set up a conversion factor like I normally would, 98.0 milliliters times, this time milliliters on the bottom and liters on top. The relationship between liters and milliliters is one liter for every 1,000 milliliters. Now if I stopped right here, milliliters would cancel out. However, notice that I'm asked to solve for mass in grams. So I know there's a relationship that exists between liters of a gas and moles of a gas, but I'm not sure that there's a relationship between grams of a gas and liters of a gas. So as I think about my next conversion factor, I definitely want to put liters in my denominator here so that unit will cancel out. But I'm going to convert here to moles of that gas. I can't go directly to grams. This relationship, one mole, 22.4 liters, is going to be true of any gas as long as you're at STP. Notice now my units of liters have canceled out and I'll be left with units of moles. To go from moles to grams, it's just a quick conversion using your periodic table. So moles, grams, SO2. The molar mass of sulfur dioxide is about 64 grams per mole. Notice again my units of moles will cancel out. I'll be left with the desired units of grams, SO2. A quick trip to my calculator, I'm going to go one step at a time. So I only have 0.098 liters of my sulfur dioxide gas. And again, go back to that relationship between liters and moles at STP. I'm clearly going to have a lot less than one mole because I have a lot less than 22.4 liters. Let's keep going. 0.00438 moles, which we expect because we have a lot less than 22.4 liters. Our final step is So we're only going to make 0.280 grams of SO2. A quick box around my answer, and we're done. Dimensional analysis saves the day. Again!